we've had a renewed focus on making sure that we are attracting and retaining disabled talent because we know that it's just a fantastic talent pool that we want to have more of. We want to be representing of society in the UK. The feasibility study is looking at how we can support employers to employ young people with hidden disabilities and indeed with physical disabilities. So we kind of flipped the model and, and started to look more at supporting employers uh, because we, there was a need for that that had come through from the work that we've been doing with Talent Match over the last three years. Well, through events like that we've done today, what um, we're sort of really keen to do is get those messages across to employers that there's help out there. It can be difficult to sort of know where to access that. There'll be a sort of simple page where they'll be able to sort of go and find out more about that. I love the work of it in the brand. Working on the till, customer service, saying hello and being polite to them and walking in with a smile on your face and just asking if they need any help. I love the job in the brand. This is a view that's shared across the political spectrum. For too long, disabled people were marginalised in our society. They were institutionalised. The skills and talents that they possessed, enormous skills and talents, were never put at the disposal of employers. You need a cultural change, and that's what this event is all about.